All right, hi team. Uh, welcome back. Today we're going to be going through speed drop, how it works, uh, how to find it, and how to utilize it in the field, and basically what our what the end game is for you guys. So before we head out to the range and actually show you how it works uh, in real time, we'll quickly go through and show you what we're actually trying to achieve with speed drop. So with speed drop, we are just trying to find some sort of relationship between our data and our range. So it works the same way as what Quick Wind does. So the guys who have done one of our courses will understand that with Quick Wind, uh, you are trying to find a relationship between a particular wind value uh, or your gun value and how that corresponds to a particular range. So we're doing the exact same, but with elevation this time. So the end game is at 400 meters, what do I have to manipulate in my data to hold four mil? At 450 meters, what do I have to do to achieve a 4.5 mil hold? This will work for yards or meters, it doesn't matter. So all you're trying to do is whatever range you're shooting at, what do we have to do to make that our elevation call? All right, so we're in the cache drawer now. To find out what our speed drop is and to find our bracket, we'll simply scroll down to, where are we? Scroll down to accuracy first. Scroll down to speed drop. Then scroll down to calculate. You will now calculate uh, our bracket, which is for me rounding it off, it'll be 250 meters and 650 meters. If I scroll up, it's given me my speed drop number, which is 1.8. If I click on that, I can set that to uh, 0.1 or 0.2 uh, speed drop error. All right, so we've just gone through the cache drill and we know now that our range, uh, sorry, our bracket is 250 meters. It goes down to 650, but we're just gonna do it to 600 because I ran out of whiteboard. Uh, and we know that we can have a 0.1 or 0.2 error. And our, where are we? Let's do it here, and our speed drop number is 1.8. So what we're doing is adding the 1.8 to our current elevation, uh, and that there will give us a new mill hold. So if I add 1.8 to 0.8, it's gonna give me 2.6. Now remember the end game is to hold 2.5 for 250, so that falls within 0.1. Uh, for 300, if I add the 1.8 to my current 1.2, it gives me three mils, that's dead on. And we'll do that to all these here within the bracket. So at 600, if I add 1.8 to 4.2, I'm getting six mils. So we've achieved what our goal was. So how do we apply this to our optic now? So what we're going to do is from our zero, our 100 meter zero, our 100 yard zero, we're just gonna dial down 1.8. So now what we're essentially doing is we're adding the 1.8 to our optic and then just holding our range. If I'm at 450, I'm just gonna hold 4.5. I'm 0.2 error. If I'm at 550, I'm just gonna hold 5.5 in my reticle. It's only 0.1 out. If I'm at 600, I'm gonna hold six mil. It's dead on, there's no error there. At 250, which is the start of my bracket, if I hold 2.5, it's only 0.1 out. So it's worked. So what we'll do now is we'll head out to the range. Um, I'll shoot it as if I'm just doing a normal hold and then we'll add the 1.8 or dial down our 1.8 and then just hold our range in our reticle. So I'll just go through, shoot it as normal and then we'll dial down the 1.8. So the first target is 290, we need 1.2, 365 is 1.8, 530, 3.4, 
So now what I'm going to do is dial down the 1.8 that we need. And now I'm just going to hold whatever range I'm shooting. As long as it falls within that bracket, I should only have that 0.1 or 0.2 error. So first one is 290, so I'm going to hold 2.9. Three sixty, three point six, five thirty, five point three, five thirty, five point three. Now, if I was going to be shooting outside that bracket, like at a thousand or something like that. I would dial back to zero and shoot it as normal just to eliminate that 0.1, 0.2 error because I'm outside that bracket, it's actually going to be a 0.3, 0.4 or even more error.